Leading Democratic lawmakers say that they will try to pass a bill in the coming days that averts two possible blows to the economy, a government shutdown and the breach of the U.S. debt limit. But it's not clear that a bill like that can actually get through Congress, especially past Republicans who are upset about the $3.5 trillion President Biden wants to spend overhauling the country's social safety net. Joining us right now is Ohio Senator Rob Portman, who's a Republican. And, uh, Senator, it's good to see you today. Thanks for being here. Good morning, Becky. Thanks for having me on. So let's start with the, the debt ceiling and, and kind of the showdown that's taking place here. Schumer and Pelosi have said that they are going to move legislation on this. McConnell, um, from the Republican side, has said, forget it, you're not getting any support from us. And I know a lot of us have kind of gotten inured to these debt ceiling talks. It's always a crisis. It always seems to get averted at the last minute. But would you vote no on something to raise the debt ceiling, which is basically just agreeing to pay the bills that, that we've already budgeted for, for this year? The, the Treasury, Treasury Secretary says we'll run out of money in October. Yeah, it is at the end of October, as you said, so we're not up against it. Uh, and, and typically we do wait until we are up against it. So this is uh, putting uh, the CR, which is the September 30th deadline, along with the debt limit. So it's not necessary to do it now. Uh, second, Becky, let's face it, this is all about debt that has been accumulated since August 1st, because we had a debt limit increase until that point. The vast majority of that is spending that Democrats have insisted on over the objections of Republicans. Remember the $1.9 trillion package that was passed in March. Uh, and now they're talking about three and a half trillion, really probably closer to five trillion when you look at it honestly over 10 years, again, without a single Republican vote. So the argument is really quite simple, which is that Democrats have the ability to do this on their own, just as they did the 1.9 trillion on their own, just as they're trying to do the $3.5 trillion on their own, which is the biggest tax increase in 50 years. In addition to social spending, that's probably the biggest social program since the New Deal. So, you know, that's, that's, that's what the argument is. I think it's a very logical argument. But the part that I like is that the debt limit actually forces us to make some of those fiscal decisions. In the previous segment, uh, the comment was made about fiscal policy more broadly. I mean, you think about it, the only time we've actually reduced spending is in the context of debt limits. So that was how the sequester happened. That was how Graham Rudman happened back in the day. So I do think, you know, it's the opportunity to have that broader discussion about the fiscal crisis that we're facing as a country. What, what, what do you think might get resolved? You, you kind of mentioned back, harken back to some, some days when there, there really were things that, that got done in a bipartisan manner. Um, it's kind of hard to imagine that today in Washington. Well, it would be a bipartisan agreement to deal with the spending going forward. So the CR that is being sent to us is just to continue the level of spending from last year. Probably has a few anomalies, as they call them, or exceptions to it. But that's really not the answer. That would be kicking the can down the road for another couple of weeks, probably, maybe into December at, at the most. But we're not dealing with the actual spending of the country. So the 12 appropriations bills. So we have to have an agreement on that. And that agreement ought to come along with the debt limit. Uh, and we ought to be able to once again say, OK, let's put some caps on spending here, given the fact that we're approaching a $30 trillion debt in our country, given the fact that this year's deficit, again, is going to be near record level. So, and given the fact that Democrats want to spend another $3.5 trillion in that context, despite the fact that the economy is picking up on its own. And if anything, the biggest concern in our economy today is inflation, as you guys talk about constantly. And uh, the three and a half trillion is just going to exacerbate that inflation, make it even worse. So I think it's time for discussion. And debt limit tends to be the place where that discussion happens. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.